I'm Melissa Kerner from FriendYourBody.com, the place to take charge of your health and transform your life. And today I'm going to share with you five of my favorite picnic snacks. Now, the summer is the perfect time to pack a picnic, and you don't want to resort to the typical on-the-go stuff that you buy, you know, in bags and boxes and cans. So I'm going to show you five of my favorite recipes that are really simple and easy to make, and most importantly, they are good for you. So my first recipe is basically just uh, Swiss chard wraps and whatever protein uh, source that you choose. So here I've got a couple Swiss chard wraps that are already sort of taken off the stems. And all I'm going to do is take some, some chicken. Um, this is actually leftover chicken from one of my previous recipes that I shared with you um, back in June, uh, my chicken salsa. So I like to make big quantities of this so I can have it for leftovers. So I'm just going to take uh, a few strips of it. I've cut it into strips. Pop it right on the leaves. And I'm just going to put enough in the center because I want to be able to wrap it. Um, and I'm just going to put a couple tomato slices on here. Um, you could put some avocado. Um, you could put some cheese. Um, all kinds of stuff that you could put on here. You could put some peppers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it. Sort of like I would if I had, you know, a sandwich wrap. And there I go, delicious. So uh, these are nice and easy to, uh, to pack in a picnic, um, you know, or just pack, you know, for lunch when you're going to work each day. So you can make a couple of those. So that's one of my, my favorite on the go snacks. Another one is my um, avocado dip. So all I do is I take uh, an avocado and I mash it up and I put spices in there. You know, I like to put a little bit of um, lemon or lime, maybe sometimes I put both, a little bit of sea salt or lemon pepper, because you got the sea salt and the pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, you could even put a little bit of cream cheese in there so you can mix it up. So I will sort of do both, depends on what I feel. Um, and you can use this as a great vegetable dip. So I've got some sliced peppers here, right? It's nice and creamy and voila, right? It, it doesn't uh, take a lot of time to make. Um, you can make a you know a nice big batch of it. It'll last a couple days. You just want to be careful. Um, you know, after three or four days, it's going to start to turn brown. So it'll be good for a few days, but you know this isn't something you make in huge quantities and expect it to last a couple weeks. So I got my avocado and vegetable dip. Um, my other uh, quick snack for you um, is plain yogurt with. Um, mixed berries and some crushed nuts and I'll try to do a close-up so you can you can see it <laughs> this is actually sometimes um, something that I'll actually eat for breakfast but this is a really quick snack uh, healthy for you plain yogurt by the way full-fat yogurt you don't want to buy the um, flavored yogurts those are just basically liquid candy there's there's no nutrition in there lots of sugar um, so this is my other quick snack idea uh, number four is almond butter with green apple slices another one of my favorites so i've just i've got about a tablespoon of almond butter here um, of course you could really use any nut butter of choice i'm a big fan of almond butter um, you could put some cinnamon on the apples that, that's really good too i like green apples um, one of my favorite kinds of fruits it's a it's a lower glycemic fruit not a lot of sugar and this is something that doesn't take a lot of time to make right really quick and then finally, um, I've got my homemade trail mix. Um, you have to be careful when you go to the store and you buy prepackaged trail mixes because you look at the ingredients and you see that sometimes there's some not so healthy stuff in there. They've got added salts and sugars, um, you know, not so healthy oils, preservatives, chemicals you can't pronounce. So the best thing to do is just to make your own, and I find it's more cost effective to do that. So all I have in, in, in my trail mix um, is, are some mixed nuts. I've got raw pecans raw walnuts, um, raw cashews, and what else do I have in here? Walnuts and almonds. I've got some raw almonds. Those are my four favorite kinds of nuts. And then I've got some um, dried goji berries, and then I've got some mulberries in here. And then I also have some cacao nibs. Cacao is basically just raw chocolate. And you can make a big batch of this. This will last a while, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make a big batch of it in a glass bowl and then I'll put it in little baggies so that I can just grab it and go. And that's that. Five healthy, easy, and yummy snacks that you can pack on your picnics this summer.
So now I want to hear from you. Tell me about some of the healthy snacks that you pack in your picnics. And of course, if you have any suggestions uh, for ingredient substitutions for any of the recipes that I talked about, please post them on our blog. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this recipe, you found it helpful, or these recipes, I should say, you like these ideas, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get our updates. And of course, uh, share these recipes with your friends and family so that they can benefit from them too. And if you're looking for some more resources to take charge of your health and transform your life, and of course, get some personal insights from me that I only share through email, make sure that you head over to friendyourbody.com and sign up for our free, healthy, weekly health, fitness, and nutrition tips and our recipes. So as always, I encourage you to stay focused on your health and keep moving forward by making small and simple healthy lifestyle changes so that you can look and feel your absolute best. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking with you again soon. All right, have a great day.